guys, what's up? It is James here on James Storybreaker, the realest myth, the blue raptor himself going in a peeve um, with not the best setup, but after this match, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my gear and everything. If you didn't see my hype train video, he is going first, probably going to die. Um, I actually lost my first two matches. Uh, kind of hard to admit because I got paired up with a myth dispel spammer at Magus and a level 20 warlord so not the best pair up ki um but uh yeah we got this matchup right here let's go ahead and blade first turn he looks like a high level with um scrub gear and yeah he's going i don't know what strike he's going for but life trap there we have it blade um What's cool is he? I think I already checked his life, obviously. Life trapped. Um, okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's go ahead and... Actually, let's do up a bubble. And then we'll tower. Okay, lag. 75 wand attack. He's got that, uh, Raven's Bow. I think it's from the Raven's War attack. Let's go ahead and throw up that too good bubble. Um, go to the Mino, or Mino, one wand, pull for, ooh, Bassy, okay. Um, let's get rid of the bubble. Shatter, he is life, so I think right now we're actually going to go ahead and do this. Ooh, okay, we pulled the, uh, blades. Blades are really good. Uh, info, nice. An attack. Ooh, Stentar. Uh, this actually might do some damage. Knife trap. This should be negated, so this should be doing around 600 if not enchanted. Something like that. Ooh, okay, even less. I forgot, life doesn't hit that hard. But yeah, I'll show you guys the setup and everything after this. Okay, I think we need one more round to Bassy, so. Probably a sprite or a fairy. Absorb. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, if I can find another mid blade. Yeah, I can't. Um, I was going to. What can I do? Shatter. Um. Really need Seder. Let's play it again. Uh, no, those are stacked. I'm just gonna go ahead and tower and then Bassy next. Sprite. Wow, sets. Really? Alright, um. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and for Bassy. Keep the fairy though. Get rid of that. Just going for the bass. Cause we do get a good stun, so. Just going for that OP basilisk. Gonna win this from second. <clears throat> Um, I'm probably not going to double upload today uh, for reasons that I'm not going to say, but uh, it's nothing too big. But I will double upload soon. Let's just say that. And this is doing a hell of a lot, like 600 over round. So if, if that gear doesn't give him crit, he doesn't crit on the Seder, um, I would say it's a good game. I'm going to go ahead and... Well, 40 or 35. I don't think it... Actually, if I can... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and blade and then... Pig should kill next, so... Oh, actually, it's just a good game. Hmm. Yeah, it's just giving a good game. I was doing a hell of a lot of damage. I'm gonna go ahead and check his level after this. Oh, yeah, and, um... For those of you that follow Twitter, you guys might know that I got pigs 
Ninja Pigs today from Farming Kodo. It's the good game. It's, I think I already gave it to him, but in case I didn't. Um, I got Ninja Pigs from Farming Kodo today. I was actually leveling up to level 33. I was, I was leveling to level 33, and I was running with a Max Storm, and I tempested and noticed that pigs came up on the screen. Started yelling, but um, yeah, I got pigs. I'm gonna go ahead and run through my deck setup really quick after I um, put everything back. So I think Orthrus used. Yeah. Okay. So basically, what you want to have for gear, I should go through that first. Is um, if you can't pull any Zeus gear, which you should at least pull like two pieces after like 20 runs, you should pull at least two, or if not like two after 30. It. Um, I was farming. Um, for a full day, I farmed maybe, I want to say 28 times, and I got two pieces. This isn't the best drop rate, but it is really good. Um, this right here actually came from the Yuletide pack. It's uh, a very OP level 30 robe possibly like the best damage robe for level 30 um it doesn't compare much to the commander robe because the resist on it is pretty much crap but it does it does have um some high health and the power pip is good compared to the zeus robe so i i did get a uh, zeus boots zeus hat couldn't pull zeus robe probably not going to since this gives a little bit more damage and you don't really re need resist until you know you get higher in rank so just gonna stick with that um zeus boots Scar and Hosta, every level 30 has to have. Uh, Heart Steel, Life Mastery. If you don't have Life Mastery, you can run a. Um. I mean, you can go to the Bazaar and you can get like a, like a Time of Legend, Ami. That works too. Um, if you don't have Heart Steel, you can just go with a Power Pip, a theme, because Power Pips you really need at level 30. Definitely, we're trying to combo. And you fail Pip and it completely screws you up. The Winged Circlet, you can get the Bazaar. Um, six power pip chance incoming and outgoing is really good for clutch heals, and that power pip can really come in handy too. Also, um, I'm pretty sure everyone knows where to get it, but if you don't know where to get, you know, Zeus helmet and Zeus boots and the senator's gear, it's all in Mount Olympus. If you don't know what that is, and just uh, uh, just just go to the Wizard 101 wiki. Look all that up. Um, my pet is Ice. Um, I can only use three talents out of the five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, uh, in the pool. But it's still a really good starter pet. So if you have a pet with proof, um, may cast fairy, may cast healing current, may cast pierce, that's okay. Just make sure it has like proof on it, because you're really gonna need that resist. And then deck of the lotus, um, it's best. It's it's, it's the best uh, level 30 PVP deck in game. Moving on to your TC deck setup, how that should look: three towers, two satyrs. Um, if you don't have life mastery. Replace the satyr with like an extra mid blade and, extra, and an extra infall, um, so you can find them a little bit easier. Cause lately I've been noticing having problems with finding my mid blades and infalls when I need them. Cause there's only two um, of each in the deck. So if you don't have life mastery, just put like TC fairy, or if you don't want to put TC fairy, then just put an extra mid blade or an extra infall. Um, two basilisk, one Medusa because it's um, it's two stuns and it's a lot of pips. Even though basilisk has nine pips, it, I mean you. You might get more out of Basilisk than Medusa, but if it comes down to you having the one shot with Medusa, then do that. Or just Medusa, like Mantle combo, if you carry Mantles instead of Satyrs. Um, two Monstrous for combos. You want to, like, if you have Pigs, Enchant the Pigs and hit for massive damage. Or Enchant the Cyclops, Troll, either one. Two Myth Blades, in case you get Balance Dispelled like you saw, or like you will see. Um, Orthrus. Two Orthrus because they're fairly, they're, I mean, they're pretty low pips and you can like double Orthrus. Um, two Shatters because balance is like the set, even like like double set because they know that you're gonna like Basilisk or Orthrus. Two Infiles for obvious reasons and two Stuns. Um, being that so that if you Basilisk and like your first, you can stun them, and they're stunned, you can take it off and then stun them a second round for that overtime and then just combo Cyclops enchanted with the Monstrous. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it for the uh, setup. One thing I do want to say, though, before I get into the second match, is that I will be doing a meet and greet soon. So I'll give you guys a realm. Um, I'll have someone sit in the realm. You guys can come and add that person, teleport to a house or a certain place, tower, maybe have a meet and greet. 
Uh, maybe you guys can watch me do some PvP. Don't really know whatever you guys want to do, but I uh, will think of something definitely. But uh, if I can, I'm gonna have some of the fam there. Right now we're having some troubles with one of the fam members. Not like troubles, like they're getting kicked out of the fam, but um, they're having game troubles. I'm not gonna tell you guys who it is. You don't have to worry too much. Um, but we're definitely like looking out for him. Um, if something does happen to his account, basically. But um, so if we can get those problems solved then um, we'll have the whole fam in the meet and greet that'd be really fun so um stay tuned for that but I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys in the second match see you guys then alright guys second match <clears throat> we got Angel Hex probably a balance if we don't pull first could be a problem yeah we pulled second um okay no myth mastery so we shouldn't have to miss this spell is my volume good Be good. Yeah, it's good. All right. Um, getting into the match. He is balance. I think I already checked that. Myth blade. No. All right. Let's go ahead and tower. Getting the lag a little bit. Wow. Balance the spell already. Not even one round in. You've balanced this spell me. Smart, but at the same time, not really. At least it's not a weakness. Let's go with that. Um, and fall? I'm actually feeling that I should probably combo him instead of going in for a big hit. Because actually that's possible. So... Yeah, it's going for it. I'm gonna infall. This, however, is probably a weakness. Another balance this spell? <laughs> what is he doing? What the heck? Okay, I've never seen this strat, but okay. Yeah, this is a smoke screen. Okay. Just a wand. Honestly, at this point, I don't even need the tower. Because he can't even combo me. I don't think he has a mastery either. Actually, he does. But I can't see what it is. Um, What can we do? Ooh. Okay, Medusa. Uh, I can pull like a... I'm going to say Blade or something. Don't want to get rid of the Minotaur. We could Minotaur though. I'm going to go ahead and tower. If he's set, okay. Good thing I called it with the tower shield. Gonna see if I can Medusa soon. Okay, nice Medusa. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and Medusa and see if I can pull the second stun and try to combo. So let's go in with that. Lag, lag, lag. Oh, weakness. That was a weird lag. The bubble, I believe, does cancel out the weakness, so let's see how much we hit base. I've got 47 damage, I believe. Put this gear on. 821, not bad. <clears throat> Ooh, we can combo quick. Um, Let's not do that. Can I pull... My second stun. Doesn't look like I can. Um, let's go ahead and do this, and if I can pull my second stun, then I can combo. And there goes my end file. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to pull it. Um, yeah, I didn't pull it, so I'm gonna go ahead and file then. Pass? Okay. I think he's just giving up at this point. I mean, he could fairy. 
we're not. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and Minotaur. He could bring her back, potentially. Mid the spell. Weakness. I mean, either or it's GG. Yeah, it's a good game. But yeah, basically that's all I've been doing uh, is just winning from second because KI doesn't want to give a myth first. Now I can see why everyone calls myth bad because if you join a queue in your myth, you're going to go second. It's freaking stupid. Sort of, but I've only gone first once and all of the time and I lost my first two matches. But I'm finally getting people that are, you know, worth versing, not completely... Maxed out, uh, commander geared, level 25s, because I'm level 33, when I should be getting like level 40s or Maguses. But uh, yeah, that was the second match. Those two matches actually went kind of quick, because Magus matches go quicker than legendary matches, so I'm actually going to go for a third match. I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, third match, we got the same guy, Angel Hex. We might possibly just pull first this time. Yeah, we did. Okay. Um... Yeah, he's balanced. Don't need to check that. Let's go and get rid of some of these things. Um, Bishuff. Infection, I think I can get rid of. I already have one. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it. Because Maguses do tend to resist check slash, um, wand off first turn. I think he's just going for the straight tower. Ooh, or okay. Stun blocks. That's smarter. Let's get rid of that. We have minion up. Those to go and blade. So basically, if I haven't, if the message hasn't gotten across before, what you want to do is blade stack. Uh, if you can get bubble control and then in foul hit him. I don't know why this dude is continuously wanting to spam bounce the spell. I'm not going to use any balance cards. Um, Myth Blade. I don't get it. Uh, Infall Basilisk kills off his. Balance Blade, probably. Or sets. That works too. Let's get rid of pigs. Um, flint and foul. That's nice. Bubble next would be great. But yeah, basically, if you don't get someone who sets for you, you can basically win it easy. Fortify. And fileable. Just going for the one shot judge, probably. Um. Ortheris, I don't think, kills. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to Tower Shield. Because I need to look... Like, I'm going to one-shot him, so I don't need stun blocks. But I'm going to look for um my bubble. Because he has stun blocks up, so I can't stun him. So I have to one-shot him. But I don't think Ortheris kills. I think this is the judge right here. The heck? Oh, the... <laughs> For a second I thought he mana burned me. I was like, where'd that come from? It's Magus. Alright, I think this is... I think this is game. If I don't kill him, my minions should, so... Should be a good game. And that's also why you pack um, TC Myth Blades, is because balances. As soon as they find out your myth, um, they will, you know, balance the spell you, so. All this stuff does cost a lot of gold, and actually, wow, I would have killed from the beginning. But, it's definitely worth it when you start, you know, gaining rank. And there you go, PvP Surgeon, already first day. Um, not too bad for winning, for losing my first two matches, but. That is going to be the video for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Definitely go out yourself. Go out, out, of, out of your way. 
and Magus yourself a myth. Go for this strat. Start farming some Zeus. See if you can get full Zeus. Um, go for a decent pet. A Sea Dragon is even good. Because um, if you level it up, I think it gets like Maycast Sprite. It has proof already in the pool for like first gen. And um, MC Pierce. And even that can be, you know, really good for myth. So, um, yeah. Myth, it, it, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. It's a really good strat. Uh, you can get pretty far with it. As far as Magus PvP, I'm... I am taking this character to max, gonna farm more Ganth, Darkmoor, all that stuff, but before I go to max, I'm gonna take him to Legend, try to get him some, uh, some tourneys in, the Medusa strats, really OP, um, especially if you're, like, myth, so you don't have to use TC of it, I'm, like, a waste of 1,000, or 2,000, um, gold on Medusa TC, like I used to do on Earthbreaker, so, um, if they do release two, uh, free tourneys, you will be seeing some 2v2 tourneys in the future, uh, with me and my girl, um, she's ice, so like, um, myth and ice, 2v2, Magus, and then in the future, when I do take my character to max, I'm gonna stop at legendary and do some legendary peeves, so you might see some legendary tourneys as well, so, yeah, that's gonna be happening in the future, um, meet and greet soon, if I haven't already said that, for a thousand subs, I'll release that video, uh, soon, later on in the week, I might even have it this weekend because I don't I don't usually upload on the weekends anymore. So we'll see what happens. But this is the video guys. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff for more PvP, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.